Popcorn is light and airy and seemingly an ideal snack when you're on a diet, but is it a low carb snack that can help you reach your weight loss goal? In this video, we'll look at the pros and cons of eating popcorn while on a low carb diet. It's easy to see why popcorn is appealing as a snack because it's popped. It has a lot of volume, which makes it feel like a substantial snack. And if you eat it one kernel at a time, it can take a long time to eat, which also feels satisfying. Uh, another perk is that it is a low calorie snack with just over 30 calories in a cup of popped popcorn. Popcorn also has some nutritional benefits. Uh, it's a fairly good source of B vitamins and other vitamins and minerals. And it also contains something called polyphenols, which are antioxidants that protect your cells from being damaged by things called free radicals. Uh, in fact, at least one study found that popcorn contains more polyphenols than fruits and vegetables. And that nutritional advantage that comes from popcorn is due to the fact that it is an unprocessed whole grain. However, because of that, it's also going to have a substantial amount of carbohydrates. So a cup of air popped popcorn might only have 31 calories, but most of those calories are from carbohydrates with six grams of carbs and only one gram of fiber. Now that's not too bad if you're a low carb dieter who allows a moderate amount of carbs into your daily diet. However, if you're on a keto diet and you need to keep your carbs very low, snacking on popcorn might push your daily carbs higher than you would like. This brings us to some considerations to take into account when debating whether or not to have popcorn as a snack on your low carb or keto diet. The first consideration is that overeating popcorn is easy to do takes a lot of discipline to stop at one cup of popcorn, especially because we don't prepare popcorn by the cup, we make it by the bowl. So if there are leftovers, the temptation to finish off the bowl may be challenging to resist. Another consideration is how the popcorn is made and served. Plain air popped popcorn is the way to go, but that is not typically the way popcorn is prepared. Often it is popped in oil or we season it with butter and salt. Now separately, popcorn, butter, and salt are fine to consume. However, when we combine them, we create that lethal combination of addictive foods, which is carbohydrate mixed with fat and salt. And this combination of ingredients makes it hard to stop eating. So those carefree six grams of carbohydrates that you got from one cup serving uh, quickly becomes 12 grams or 18 grams before you know it. And if you add sugar to the mix, like we get with kettle corn or caramel corn, then the health value really is out the window. Now there are butter sprays that are marketed as low or no calorie butter alternatives. These sprays will help the salt stick to the popcorn, but they are not healthy choices. Spray butter is typically made up of unhealthy vegetable oils and chemicals that act as preservatives and flavorings. So plain popcorn will give you the most control over your diet, but if you need something, you may want to consider using an olive oil sprayer. Uh, you simply pour oil into the sprayer, pump it up a couple of times to get pressure and it sprays a fine mist over the popcorn. And this is a much healthier option than using packaged microwave popcorn. There are concerns about the chemicals used in microwave popcorn packaging and flavoring. The packaging is specially designed to repel oil. So the oil doesn't leak out of the bag. Uh, to make this happen, the microwave bags are lined with chemical compounds known as PFCs. And these chemicals have been linked to thyroid problems, cancer, ADHD, and even problems with children producing antibodies after receiving vaccines. The artificial butter flavoring in microwave popcorn comes from a chemical called diacetyl, which has been linked to breathing issues and lung disease. And on top of that, the oils used in the bags are often hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils, which are trans fats. Fortunately, there is a simple way to air pop 
popcorn without investing in an air popper. In fact, I've taught this trick to kindergartners in the past and they thought it was pretty cool, so there's not a whole lot to master here. Uh, all it takes to pop popcorn is a bag, a couple of pieces of tape, and some dry popcorn kernels. In fact, that is how I made all of the popcorn here in front of me. So if you want to print out the simple instructions, uh, you'll find them on my blog over at drbeckyfitness.com and I'll leave links here on the video and below in the description. Before you go, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get an alert when my next video is out.